Is Omicron traveling with you? After Alpha, Gamma and Delta, this new variant of the coronavirus is now making headlines. Because of it, many countries have once again imposed severe travel restrictions. The fear the new variant could be even more contagious and the vaccines could work less well against it. In countries with a high COVID vaccination ratio, breakthroughs are increasing. This means an infection with COVID-19 despite being vaccinated. This development is worrying many. So, I find Jetzt werde ich auch immer mehr verunsichert, weil ich mir denke, die Impfung hat nichts gebracht. Also ich möchte die dritte Impfung nicht haben, weil ich davon ausgehe, dass ich wahrscheinlich alle halbe Jahre mich impfen lassen müsste. Will ich nicht. Also ich denke, es bereitet vielen Menschen Panik und auch viele Konflikte bezüglich Menschen und der Politik, dass viele Fragen offen sind. Wie ähm, sehr vertrauen Sie den Impfstoffen? Gar nicht. Ich glaube, ich fühle mich nicht geschützt. Ich behalte Abstand und äh, gehe nirgendwo mehr rein. The vaccines don't work. False. The corona vaccines are highly effective, but not 100%. With the new Omicron variant, there is great concern that the vaccines protect less well than against previous variants. Reliable data is not yet available, but vaccine producers like BioNTech, Pfizer and Moderna have already announced that they will adapt their vaccines if necessary. The vaccines from BioNTech, Pfizer, Moderna and AstraZeneca, for example, are said to be around 75% effective against a symptomatic infection with the Delta variant. And the situation is similar with the Indian co-vaccine. That means the probability of getting sick is 75% lower. However, there is still a residual risk with these and other vaccines. And this is also reflected statistically. With over 3 billion fully vaccinated worldwide, there is still a considerable number of people who get COVID. If you look at the numbers and the proportions between vaccinated people with breakthrough infections and unvaccinated people who get infected, then the relative risk is like tenfold higher for unvaccinated people to get infected. However, at the moment, we do have very high levels of infection rates and they produce a pressure on the vaccinated people. And so all of a sudden, the people at risk are the so-called low responders who have already a little declined response. Nevertheless, the immunological memory is there, but there is the chance still to get infected. And this is what we are seeing. According to official information, Sputnik V from Russia also protects 83% against the more contagious Delta variant. However, Russia has not yet disclosed any scientific evidence for this. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine, on the other hand, is considered less effective by health authorities. There were relatively many breakthroughs for this vaccine. For this reason, people vaccinated with the J&J &J are now recommended to get a booster shot with a different vaccine in a short time period in several countries. It seems to be similar with Sinovac and Sinopharm. The little information available regarding the Delta variant suggests that the two Chinese vaccines are less effective against the most common variant of the coronavirus. The vaccination only works for a short time. Misleading. One cause for the increase in vaccination breakthroughs in some countries is the fact that vaccination protection decreases over time. After a while, the immune system doesn't remember the encounter with COVID-19 that well. The antibodies decrease again. You know, in terms of the duration of efficacy, I think we're still learning as we speak. Um, in, I think broadly speaking, it looks like uh, perhaps right around six months mark after the completion of the vaccination that you know, people are coming in, um, are, are at a higher likelihood of developing a breakthrough infection. Pre-existing conditions can also be a reason for the corona vaccination to not work as well, such as diabetes, cancer, or cardiovascular diseases. That is why health authorities in many countries recommend booster vaccinations, especially for these risk groups and for the elderly. 
So amongst all these discussions around breakthrough infections, it's very important to mention that in many European countries, especially in Germany, for example, the proportion of unvaccinated people is still too high and they are at high risk of getting infected. And this is actually what we are seeing with these constantly high infection rates that we observe in Germany. And if we are sort of not able to reduce the proportion of unvaccinated people, this will be a situation that it's hard to be controlled in the winter. I would like to really emphasize that it makes sense to consider to get vaccinated. To sum it up, vaccine breakthroughs do not mean vaccination failure. We know the vaccines do not offer a complete protection, also because they were developed against the initial virus and not its variants. However, they do protect from hospitalizations and severe cases. As the protection decreases over time, and not everyone is protected to the same extent, booster shots are highly recommended.